Okay, um, this is the first beer that I'm going to be trying from the BML that was sent to me by Johan from Sweden. Um, his, his username is Cracked Brain on YouTube. I'll put a little link to his channel. He's a really nice guy, and um, he's just we've just started to do a little sort of European beer trade. I'm going to be sorting out his BML uh, this week because I'm still working at the moment. I've got a couple of days off soon. Uh, anyway, the beer I'm going to be trying is from Nils Zuska, who done the Good Lager, which was really, really good. And this is the Hop Yard IPA. Wonderful. Right, I'll see if there's any um, English on here. I don't think there is. Um, no, it's all in Swedish. Uh, it comes in at 7.3%, and um, I'm very, very excited to try it, so. He said to sort of drink these ones pretty quick, the, uh, the IPAs, because obviously they'll lose their freshness. But it'll be interesting to try because I've never had a Swedish IPA. Okay, looking very nice in the glass. As you can see, it's uh, almost quite filtered looking actually. Um, a slight sort of chill haze, as I do like my IPAs cold. Uh, slightly off white head, nice sort of golden copper colour. Um, looks really pretty. Let's give it a sniff. It's quite pungent, but it's not what I expected. Wow, that is a strange smell. Um, excuse me. I'm getting some um, bolshy, almost sort of like aggressive sort of malty notes um, combined with an earthy, almost sort of vegetative, you know, vegetable smell. Um, there's a slight sort of grapefruit and um, orange coming through, but it seems to be dominated by this other smell and I can't work out what it is. I'm going to have to go and get a taste on this one, guys. Sorry. Um, Johan, thank you very much. Cheers. Mm. Okay. First thing I need to say, 7.3%, <clears throat> it is extremely light um, in body. I mean, the aftertaste is very clean, um, there's a, a nice bitterness, but it's, it's, it's not over, an over bitterness. It almost just circles the tongue. What you initially are getting um, is very similar to the beer I had before, the Maui, um, the Maui IPA from Hawaii, which is, you're getting these lovely sort of sweet um, marmalade, sort of dark orangey, tropical sort of fruity notes coming through. Um, combined with this circle of bitterness, which is, it's quite mellow actually, it's not as over the top as I thought it was going to be. Um, and then you get a very clean finish, um, with a little bit of bitterness sort of lingers. I can't believe this is 7.3%, it is so balanced, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Mm. Yeah, like I said, you're getting that sort of like bloody blood orangey sort of marmalade. Um, at least a bloody orange, in <laughs> and that candy sweetness. Um, it's oh, I love these sort of IPAs. Um, I think uh, when I was speaking to Ryan Stumpy Joe Jr., he sort of likened this sort of style to the Northwest Pacific IPAs, whereby the, the West Coast tends to be very zesty and vibrant. This one almost has a sort of 
a mould quality to it which gives it a very comforting but beautifully tasty flavour. Um, it's really, really good. It is really, really good. Um, I know I didn't seem that sort of like, you know, bowled over at the beginning, but that was because I was just getting, I just couldn't get over how smooth the finish was on it. Um, that is really, really well crafted. Really, really good. It's got to be a 9 out of 10, without a doubt. And then it was Oscar Hopyard, IPA, beautiful stuff. Um, I know Terry K likes Nils Oscar, he he done their um, good lager as well, went mental over it. He'd also go mental over this one. Um, hopefully when I do get to eventually see him, I'll have a little chat with Johan for a future beer now, and maybe get a few more bottles of this and I'll bring a couple down for him. But if this does eventually make it over to these shores, Definitely get it. It's a beautiful IPA. <clears throat> Lovely and sweet and caramelly and orangey and beautiful. <clears throat> and that's it really. So thank you very much. Yoen, cheers. Skull!